Did you know, ladies and gentlemen, that Doctor Who appeared at San Diego Comic-Con? Well, not Doctor Who. Uh, Doctor Who had a panel. Hmm. Yeah. With, with a fart and a whimper. It came and it went. Uh, and here we have it. We have some of the questions, or at least one of the questions that he was given uh, during this panel. Uh, Russell T. Davies deflects criticism of Doctor Who's extreme politics, because it is. It is extreme politics, regardless you know, what side of the aisle you sit on. It is fairly extreme. Uh, by claiming, apparently, trans rights are more important than the show itself. Not to the people that are watching the show, though. Like, the sh I mean, you... <laughs> You can argue that anything is more important than anything, but the purpose of the show is entertainment. The purpose of the show is what that, you know, you've got to please the fans. That's kind of what people want to go and watch. No? Bit of a weird one, really. I mean, this the argument's really pathetic, to be honest. I could argue that, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of things more important than watching me just yammer away online, but it doesn't mean that I still shouldn't do it right? The show itself is being made, although some people would argue, definitely stop talking online, I get it. Um, I'm sure those people furiously typing down below. But the point of Russell T Davies being brought on by the BBC to do Doctor Who was to create Doctor Who, not political pandering, I guess is the essence of the, the sort of pushback from this kind of nonsense. So let's take a look. Uh, hit subscribe if you're newer, guys, and do turn those bell notifications on. Been a while since we've had a Doctor Who video. I do enjoy doing these, just because it's just an endless sea of nonsense. I've got another one actually coming up, by the way. It just is an endless sea of nonsense. Uh, but anyway, Rusty Davies continues to double down uh, on his push for absurd identity politics through the new Doctor Who, uh, with his gay black lead, Shooty Gatwa. Uh, this week at San Diego Comic Con, Davies dodged a question about longtime Doctor Who fans being upset with the show's direction by invoking his extreme politics once again. And that's the thing, right? Like, if you don't have a valid argument for doing certain things, just go, my politics or my, my rights and all this kind of... It's just... No. Like, you can't keep gaslighting everyone into this nonsense now. So last year, Rusty Davies warned viewers multiple times that politics would be the entire focus of Doctor Who in several interviews. Sadly, we did not heed them. Uh, Shooter Gatwa and Millie Gibson both joined him in interviews, letting fans know that they would be offended. And the three of them made bigger PR blunders than have been seen on perhaps any show, especially when Shooty told longtime fans uh, to go and touch grass. Uh, was it him or was it the, uh, the 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 drag queen? It might have been both of them. I can't remember. But yeah, telling everyone to go touch grass was not. Mm, that wasn't good. <laughs> wasn't good. <laughs> Uh, true to his word, Rusty Davies inserted some of the most heavy-handed leftist politics seen on any TV show, which is true. But it's not its not unheard of for anything from the BBC, though. So this is pretty common on the BBC. Uh, the Doctor was turned into a bastardisation of the character. This is true. Running around and crying. This is true. Rather than solving problems in a masculine way. This is true. With multiple scenes glorifying homosexuality. This is true. And transgenderism. And this is true. Uh, to where the show didn't seem to have plots half the time. Which is true. It was politics over, over plots. It was agenda over plot. And this is this is where people fall apart with it, right? Like, Ellen Ripley, okay, you know, uh, that wasn't a character that was forced, you know, it wasn't forced upon people. We weren't like, my God, my strong woman. It was, here's a great character, and people really liked her on that merit. Right? She was good because of the plot, not because of the politics. Because there was no politics. Do you see, see the difference? Anyway. So, obviously, ratings have been terrible. We know that. Season two's already been filmed. We know that. But season three, who knows? Uh, what's going to happen there? So at San Diego Comic-Con, on a panel with fellow showrunner Alex Kurtzman from Star Trek, Russell T. Davies was asked about longtime fans' poor reaction to the show and how he felt. Which is a pretty it's a pertinent question, I believe. So in his response, he played the victim and doubled down on identity politics. I don't go online much. Maybe I should. Maybe that's wrong. I'm talking about Twitter, X, as the portal online. I don't feel particularly safe as a get. You, you don't feel safe on Twitter? Oh, Jesus. As a gay man. Right, that's right, yeah, because Twitter, well-renowned for gay bashing, I guess. What planet are you living on? You're fine online. What are you doing? You coward. 
it's getting worse and worse in society. I see what's said out there. Yes, that's right, yes. Criticism is getting worse and worse because you're producing shit. Oh no, my criticism. Fuck off. Uh, but that's a long discussion for another time. I'm not sure I can even be a part of that. Uh, so I get my agent telling me what's going on. Oh god, do they have like Kleenexes handy for your tears? I get people kind of here inevitably. Uh, there's kind of osmosis about the culture wars or whatever kind of creep through. Uh, and then he... Oh god, I didn't want to click on that, sorry. Uh, and then he dropped the bombshell to completely deflect any criticism and ignore the bad ratings and reviews of Doctor Who's program. Rusty Davies said, To be honest, in terms of online activity, I'm much more interested in what's happening. I think Doctor Who's fine. Yeah, because you're, you're burying your head in the sand. I think there are things happening in the culture war, particularly with trans rights, which are a million times more important than what's happening with Doctor Who. But that isn't the question. That isn't the question. And as this article notes, or the substack, or a fandom poll says, as a person whose literal job at Comic-Con is to promote Doctor Who, deflecting by claiming the show isn't important when he's a showrunner is a crazy move. This is very true. I mean, what on earth are you doing? Like, what on earth are you doing? It's getting worse. It's terrifying. You're there quite literally to promote Doctor Who. You're there quite literally to write Doctor Who. You moron. He doesn't care about Doctor Who. He absolutely doesn't care. And he doesn't care about Doctor Who fans either. Alex Kurtzman similarly said all this kind of nonsense. Says you're fighting some of those battles on the show just by the representation. I mean, what on earth? We live in such a clown world. So, very, very, very valid question. You know, hey. Uh, what do you reckon about long-time fans not liking the show? Like in your show that you're making for, presumably, fans. You don't like them. What, 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 you know, they don't, sorry, they don't like the show. Like, what do you reckon? And he's like, well, trans rights. What the fuck? My gay rights, I, I guess. What? And this, this mirrors exactly what he said previously in other interviews, which is, I just write what I know. I'm writing about myself. Is that, yeah, well, I mean, evidently, we know that. But, yeah, okay, so that's all you care about, isn't it? Just writing about that, not writing a good Doctor Who show. Unbelievable. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you like what I do here, because I obviously deal with some, you know, truths that people don't appreciate, uh, I do get demonetized. So support me on Patreon if you like. It's linked down below. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye now.